I have a minute left. Uh, my, my other role is the, uh, is the uh, Finance Committee appointments, and, and that's a very important role. And if anyone's interested in serving on Finance Committee, uh, please contact the Town Hall, or you can email me at moderator at northreadingma.gov. I got that right, I think. Um, so with that, thank you very much, and please exercise your vote on May 8th, and I would ask for your vote, even though I'm running uncontested. Thank you. That is correct. Oh, My husband yeah. just said, yay, on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great, thank you. Um, I have, uh, I've just had such an amazing experience here tonight listening to um, the candidates for selectment. We have so many great leaders, and I, I just want to thank the League of Women Voters for providing a showcase for folks to share their ideas and to talk how passionately they <laughs> care about our community. Um, the one thing that I, I think I've found from serving from the school committee that is just has been so valuable is observing and being able to participate um, in such positive um, collaborative work with so many people who care genuinely about this community and the people who were per part of tonight and of course on, uh, we are all very uh, we're involved for one reason I think that, that that has to do with the spirit that's in North Reading and the people that live here. This is a community that people want to be part of. And six years ago when my husband and I um, moved here, we were delighted to become part of this community. I am a resident of Greenbrier. I have lived there for the six years that I've been in North Reading. I'm originally from Hanover, Massachusetts, which shockingly is the most comparable town to North Reading within Massachusetts, which I found out in year two of the school committee. Uh, so um, there are some comparisons I've made over, over the time that I've served on school committee. Um, this is my first term, having served um, alongside Jeff Ewell, who pulled papers on the very same, where's Jeff? Pulled papers on this very same day. And I think um, I chose to run for school committee for one very important reason, which was that I felt that there was something I could contribute and I would be uh, remiss if I didn't find a way to serve or to represent a part of the community that I belong to. I'm a young professional. I have been working in the field of health services research and policy for 12 years. And when I first ran, I was also uncontested uh, and I ran with Jerry Venezia, who is also up for re-election. Um, as well and couldn't be here this evening. I'm sure he could not be here this evening. Uh, but I ran as an unknown and I, I still think I'm a little bit unknown. Um, so I'd like to share with you a little bit about my background. Um, again, I grew up in Hanover. I spent most of my life here in Massachusetts. I've spent, goodness, most of it in school. I am actually uh, a, still a doctoral student. So technically I've been in school for 18 plus years of my life. Uh, and counting, financially and otherwise. Uh, I first went to Wellesley College and studied biology and felt that I would be a great bench scientist and then moved on in my education to get a master's in public health. And that is where I became inspired to be part of the community and to really um, uh, see life as, as part of community. In public health, um, the goal of public health is to see the social ecology of life and to understand that the things that happen to us are part of everything working together in community. And so I've always wanted to find an opportunity to belong to that. I'm also a musician, I'm a flutist for those folks who don't know. I'm a huge supporter of the arts and music in North Reading. I never ever want to see those on the chopping block. Uh, and I'm also an animal rescuer. I, I started a nonprofit <coughs> about six years ago and I save uh, West Highland White Terriers. I've been doing that actually since I started in North Reading and I'm always covered in fur. You may probably notice that if you get close to me and it's white fur so I would tend to wear a lot of black and it stands out. Um, I think for me the role of the school committee member is really to be a steward of, of the students and parents and families in this town and to ensure that they have everything they need to be successful. When I began, um, and, and as a consummate overachiever <laughs> in my life, I found that 
how shocking it is that we do not have the resources that we need to give the kind of education that I had and many people have access to. We do a very good job here, but we definitely need more resources. Student achievement is something that the school committee has talked a lot about, but we feel sort of paralyzed to be able to provide the kind of uh, services that we need for students to, to compete with other students. And as someone who hires people on a day-to-day -day basis, I see candidates come in who don't have any skills that I can employ. I want our students to go out there and be rock stars. And so I want to continue on the committee in order to ensure that we are able to use the new building project the way it's intended and to support a curriculum that promotes student achievement. So I thank the voters for their consideration. I am, I've got 10 seconds, I can't even believe that. Uh, uh, but I'm really very excited to um, be running again and I look forward, for, forward to working with the entire school committee. candidates who have been here tonight uh, and also the many town officials who took time out of their uh, busy schedules to support our candidates and the issues. Um, thanks to Bob Therese for being here and uh, throwing out the first question but also the good coverage that will come um, in the transcript this week so people can better understand what the issues and the candidates view on them. Also to the cable TV who will replay tonight's um, events up through 20, I guess there's some guidance that they can't do it in up, only up till 24 hours before uh, the actual election on the 8th, so that there will be the ability for people to re-look at um, on cable. I wanted to say thank you to Ian Coley from the Andover North Andover uh, League for being our objective moderator, and to thank you for the members of the League of Women Voters who helped pull us together, being Meg, Meg Robertson, Ginny Mills, and Ruth Haggerty, and last but not least, please uh, come out and vote on the 8th and tell all your friends and neighbors because it's very important to me uh, to keep this public policy vital. So thank you very much for coming out tonight.